Now in the second section of our lecture we will talk about the bone anchored hearing aid. In this section we will talk about the candidacy uh, profile and indications for the use of uh, bone anchored hearing aid and also what type of surgery is performed for the anchoring of the hearing aid in the bone and what are some complications that can occur with the bone anchoring of the hearing aid. So first the bone anchored hearing aid, it's the surgically implanted abutment to transmit sound by direct conduction through bone to the cochlea. So before we, we talked about conventional type of hearing aid and those type of hearing aid we just put them behind the ear and then we put the um, in, air, air, in the ear the receiver, amplifier and the microphone. Those were the three components. But now in this as the name shows the hearing aid is implanted on the bone and then that helps to transmit the sound from the bone to the cochlea for the uh, production of the sound or for hearing. So these are the, actually the surgeries are performed for these type of hearing aids. So as you, if you see the picture in this, this is the hearing aid that is implanted to the uh, bone to transmit sound by direct conduction through bone to the cochlea. So this is the uh, implanted bone anchored hearing aid. Principle of bone conduction it is used for conductive type of hearing loss, also for uh, uni unilateral hearing loss or mixed hearing loss. So it is used for conductive and uh, sensory neural hearing loss and for both combined conductive and sensory ty neural type of hearing loss. So it's useful for all type of hearing loss, unilateral hearing loss, not bilateral hearing loss. So here this is the bone implanted or bone anchored type of hearing loss known as BAHA. The components of this type of uh, hearing aid, we have titanium fixture. This is the fixture that is fixed in the bone. Then the abutment, titanium abutment, and this is the sound processor that process the sound waves and transfer it to the bone. From the bone it goes directly to the cochlea and then the sound is produced. The candidacy profile we have is used in chronic inflammation or infection of the ear canal. We already mentioned in the previous section that uh, uh, any infection or inflammation is a contraindication for the use of conventional type of hearing loss because it can cause obstruction to the uh, uh, flow or transmission of the sound waves to the middle ear. So any inflammation or infection of the ear canal is a, uh, not it is in that case we prefer the bone uh, anchored uh, hearing aids. So it's used in chronic inflammation or infection of the ear canal. Then patients who cannot wear standard in the ear, ear conduction hearing aids. So if they do not wear 
any conventional type of hearing aids, then that's another indication for bone anchor. Children filled with malformed or absent outer ear and ear canal like microtia or atresia. If the children are born with uh, congenital abnormalities like microtia, very small ear or complete absence of ear, then also we cannot use the conventional type of hearing aids. We have to go for the bone anchored uh, hearing aid. So this is the, uh, we have three parts, the pro uh, sound processor, abutment, and the anchor, three uh, components of the bone anchored hearing aid. Single-sided deafness, if it's single-sided, this is the uh, type of uh, uh, method used. Indications. Some indications are when air conduction hearing aid cannot be used. If there is atresia, congenital or acquired, not amenable to treatment. Chronic ear discharge, again, not amenable to treatment. All these contraindications are make it uh, the use of bone anchored hearing aid uh, indicate, indicatable and it's used in all these conditions. Excessive feedback and discomfort for conduction hearing aid. As I mentioned previously, excessive feedback is very common complaint of the patient who use uh, conventional type of uh, air conduction hearing aids. They keep on complaining that they hear too much noises. They cannot hear better because there are noises in the ear. So a lot of people give, give up and they don't use these hearing aids because of these complications. Conductive or mixed hearing loss is another indication because this is useful for both type of hearing loss. Then the surgery that's performed, we have performed in a single stage in adults. This is the speech processor, abutment, and this is the screw. So screw is uh, put in the bone and then abutment is attached to that screw and that is attached to the sound processor. Three components are involved in this type of um, hearing aid. So it's performed in a single step in adults, two-stage procedure in children, and a fixture is placed in the bone in first step. So first the fixture is put and then the abutment and then the sound processor. So in children it's a two-step procedure, but in adults it's performed in the single step stage. Complications as it's the surgery, it's invasion is done, bone is invaded, so there are complications associated with the surgery. Complications are occasional failure to osseointegrate the implant. So it's failure to perform the function because of failure of osseo integration. Osseo is for the bone. As with any implants, all the implants, they have a chance to fail because of failure to um, uh, integrate with the body parts. So in this also, failure to osseo integrate of the implant is one complication. Local infections, uh, inflammation at the implant site, all these are the complications that can occur. That's, that was all about the bone anchored rehabilitation aids. And thank you for watching scardia.com.